A child of God, the Lord is saying to you that you will receive his full attention. He is saying to you that you deserve his full attention and you will receive it. Every day you call upon him, dear child of God, God will show himself to you. God will reveal himself to you. He will show himself strong and mighty in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So wherever you go, do not stop calling the name of the Lord. Whenever you need God to show up, dear child of God, open your mouth and say, God, please, I want to see you. I want to see you express yourself in my life. Please show yourself to me. And I have this good news for you, dear child of God. God will always show himself to you. God will always let his voice out towards your direction. He will tell you all that you need to do. So he said to me, if you seek me with all of your heart, you will find me. He's saying to you, dear child of God, if you would only seek me. Dear child of God, why did you stop seeking the Lord? Why did you stop looking for the Lord? Why did you stop searching for the things that God wants to bring your way? He said, search the deep things of the Lord and they will be made known unto you. You will receive God in every dimension you want to. If you would only make that request, God have made up his mind to make himself available to us all. That was why he made us to know in the scriptures, in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, he said very clear that do not be anxious, but in everything make your prayers known unto God. Dear child of God, he said in every situation, let your petitions be made known to God through prayers and requests with thanksgiving. He says, make every of those situations known to me, dear child of God. God wants you to bring everything to him. He wants to listen to you. He wants to attend to you. That is why he's making himself accessible to you. He's saying that you should call unto him and he will answer you. He's saying that you should call unto him and he will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Dear child of God, why did you stop calling on God? Why did you stop seeking his face? Dear child of God, why did you give up? God is nearer to you than you expect, than you think. But if you stop calling him, if you stop lending your voice to heaven, you may not see his intervention. You may never see him show up for you. So do not shut your mouth, dear child of God. The devil is excited when he sees that you are not calling on God anymore. That is what he does. He does that to distract you. But if you call on God, dear child of God, that is you receiving strength day by day. The word of God in Psalms 50 verse 15 says, Let your voice come up to me in the day of trouble. He says, let your voice come up to me in that day of trouble. Dear child of God, do not go far away from God because of the troubles coming your way. Do not become rebellious against God. Do not think that it will do you any good to have quarrels and fight against your God. Do not think that you will do yourself any good to be angry with God. It will not do you any good. He says, let your voice come to me in the day of trouble. And then he said, I will be your savior so that you may give glory to him so that you may bring all the glory to God. He said, he will listen to you. He will be your savior. Dear child of God, do not stop calling on God. Do not stop going to God. Do not stop bringing your petitions and your needs to God because he wants to attend to you. He wants to reveal himself to you. He wants to show himself strong and mighty in your life. Jeremiah 29 verse 12 says, and you will go on crying to me and making prayer to me, and I will give ear to you. He said, I will give ear to you. If you would only go on crying to me, if you would only call on to me, dear child of God, please make up your mind today that whatever the situation is, that you will turn your face to God. Whatever the challenges are, whatever the things are that you are faced with, you will go to God. You would wait patiently on him until he turns towards your direction. In Psalms 40 verse 1, David was speaking. He says, I waited patiently for Yahweh. He turned to me and heard my cry. 
he said he brought me up also out of a horrible pit out of the miry clay he set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand dear child of god god will turn his face to you if you would only patiently wait on him if you would only say to god i trust you whatever the situation is i will look to you all the days of my life because i know it is only you that can put a new song of my mouth is only you that can put a new song on my lips is only you that can change my story is only you that can change my situation i will keep on trusting you i will keep on crying to you i will keep on pursuing you all the days of my life it says blessed is the man who makes yahweh his trust do not stop trusting god it says blessed is that man that puts his trust that puts his faith in god that puts his trust in yahweh he says that one who receive the respect of God, dear child of God, do not turn yourself away from God, but rather go to Him every day. Tell Him I will look to you every day of my life. Tell Him I will look up to you all the days of my life. I will look up to you in everything that I need, everything that I expect to receive. I will turn my face towards your direction. I will trust in you. I will believe in your provisions. Because you have said you will provide all things for me. You have said you will make everything I need come to my life. You have said you will be sufficient unto me. Dear child of God, all you need right now is to trust Yahweh. Is to believe in the things that he said he would do. And he will not disappoint you. He will show himself strong and mighty in your life. He will not fail you. He says you will call upon him. And he will answer you and show you mighty things that you do not know of. Mighty things that you do not know of. He said he will show them to you. He said he will show them to you. He will bring them to you. Those mighty things that you expect to receive. Those wonderful things that you expect to see. Dear child of God, lift up your voice unto God every day. Go to God every day. Make your supplications known to God every day. Express your heart unto God every day and say to him Yahweh these are the things I want in my life these are the things I want to receive and I trust in you I know you are the only one that can provide them for me I know you are the only one that can make them available to me I know you will not disappoint me I can count on you all the days of my life I will trust you with my all I will trust you with my life and each day you go to God telling him that father I will trust you I believe in all the things you have promised to do in my life. I will trust you because I know you cannot fail me. Because I know you cannot disappoint me. He said, I have proclaimed glad news of righteousness in the great assembly. Behold, I will not seal my lips. Yahweh, you know. He said, I will not seal my lips. I will not shut my mouth. Dear child of God, do not shut your mouth. Go to God every day and express your heart to him. Let heaven hear your voice. Tell him everything you want and express your heart to him because he's willing to do it. He wants to bless you. He wants to turn your life around. But if you stop calling on to God, if you stop crying to him, you may not receive nothing. That was why he said that you should call to me. You should ask me the things you want and I would answer you. He said you receive not because you ask not. So ask today. Make a request known to God today. Make your supplications known to God today, dear child of God. Open your heart to God and say, God, I believe in you. I look to your hand and I know that you will make provisions available to me. I know you would attend to my cry. I know you will hear my heart cry and you will turn my situation around. And I have this good news for you, dear child of God. God will most definitely turn your life around. God will visit you in a great and an amazing way. In the mighty name of Jesus, He would give you reasons to testify. He would give you reasons to rejoice because He is a faithful Father. He doesn't fail. He doesn't disappoint. And He will not begin with you. He said those that believe in Him, those that trust in Him, those that have put their faith in Him, He said they will not be put to shame. He said they will not be disappointed. So go to Him every day and say, Father, I believe in all that you do and I know you will not disappoint me. I know you will not fail me. 
I know you will come through for me all the days of my life. I know you are thinking upon me and I know that you will deliver me. I know your help is coming my way and each time I find myself in trouble, Lord, come through to my rescue and visit my family, turn my situation around and make everything good for me. Dear child of God, God will not fail you. God will be good to you and God will not disappoint you. He will take you to your promised land. He will take you to your place of enthronement and he will make sure you receive the best things that are meant for your life and for your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, he would wipe the tears off your eyes and he will give you a reason for living in Jesus' mighty name. He would make a meaning out of your life in Jesus mighty name. God will be good to you dear child of God. God will be gracious to you and they will make everything beautiful in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So go to him every day and cry to him and say God I trust you. I believe in you and I know my needs will be met and he will meet all of your needs in Jesus mighty name. Amen. It is well with you beloved. God bless you and shalom.